next talk. Um, is the speaker ready to go? Yes, I am ready. Okay, well, great. So I, I hope I, I say this correctly. Our next speaker is Porfirio Leandro Leon Alvarez, uh, who will be speaking about virtually abelian dimension of three manifold groups. Take it away. Okay, uh, thanks. Uh, thank you for accepting my thought. Uh, to give me the chance to talk in this workshop. Uh, and this is a joint work with Luis Jorge Sanchez Saltaña. Um, so I let's start. Uh, the, the outline is the following. Uh, first, uh, I'm going to talk about the geometry dimension of discrete groups. Um, after that, I'm going to gener generalize this geometry dimension and geometry dimension for families. And finally, I'm going to talk about the virtually abelian dimension of three manifold groups. So uh, the definition, the first definition is the following. Uh, let G be a discrete group, a model X for the classifying space uh, BG is a complex of Ellenberg McLean uh, K uh, G1. Uh, this means this mean the fundamental group of X is equal to G and the universal cover uh, in G is controllable. Uh, here uh, I had some examples. Uh, the circles is a model for a set because the fundamental group is set and the universal cover is the real line. Uh, also, uh, it's a space, uh, the circle cross uh, Rn is a model for, for this classifying space. Uh, the, another example is the wedge of two circles is a model for the free group in two generators because, uh, you know, the universal cover is a Cayley graph. And this is a tree and it's contrable. Uh, the another example is the project, projected infinite space RB infinite is a model for this set to the, the classifying space for this group. So uh, the classifying space is important because if you had a model for the classifying space, you can compute uh, the homology and cohomology of the group. Also, uh, we can classify a principal G bond nodes using this classifying space. Uh, now, uh, the definition is the following. We define the geometry dimension of this group uh, as the minimal n, so that there is a model for the classifying space of dimension n. Uh, examples, uh, the dimension geometry uh, is zero if and only if uh, G is the group trivial. And a result of the Stanley's and this one showed uh, the dimension geometry of the group is equal one if and only if the group is free and non-trivial. Uh, another example is this, if you had the group has torsion, then automatically the geometry dimension is infinite. So in some sense, uh, the geometry dimension measures the complexity of G. Now uh, I'm going to generalize this uh, notion. Uh, before I, I need some the definition, uh, let G be a group, uh, a not entity collection of subgroup or G, F, is a family if, if it's close on the conjugation and taking subgroup. Uh, the first example is the family that consists only of the trivial group, and this is uh, uh, this is close on the conjugation and taking subgroup trivially. <laughs> uh, the next uh, example of the, of the family is the family that consists of all of the finite subgroups of G, and all again this is a close on the conjugation and taking subgroup. The next family is uh, consists the virtual cyclic subgroup or G. Uh, remember, a group we say that is virtually cyclic. It has it has a subgroup, a cyclic of finite intents. Uh, 
Uh, now I define this family, Fn, or all of subgroup H or G, that is virtually set R for some R, a uh, zero, one, and N. Uh, we note, uh, we, we note that F zero is equal to the finite family of the finite subgroup, and F one is equal to the family of virtually cyclic subgroups. Okay. May I ask a quick question? What is G in this uh, number four? This class. Uh, G is a, a discrete group. A, you take a, a group and to define this family. Thank you, sorry. Yeah. So a, a GCW complex X is a CW, a CW complex so that uh, the group add in this space and the action is cellular. Also, I need to, if I had a element that fits a cell as set, then fits the cell point twice. Um, the example is the is for uh, we can give a yes structure or C2 CW complex with the antipodal, antipodal action. Uh, here we had uh, this decomposition, and this is a example of C2 CW complex. <laughs> So, uh, given a group and a family F, uh, I say uh, a GCW complex X is a model for the classifying space with respect to this family if and only if the following condition is satisfied. First, for all X in X, the isotropy group belong to the family, and for, for all uh, subgroup belong to the family, uh, the set of fixed points is contractible. A example, if we had a group and the family trivial, a, a model for the classifying space with respect to this family is the universal cover of the classifying space in the same classical. And another example is we had is if we had the group and the family of G, um, we had the, this group belong to the family, uh, we had to the one point space is a model for the classifying space. Hmm. So some application for the classifying space for families. Uh, give me a second. Uh, the classifying space uh, with respect to the finite subgroup and classifying space with respect to the uh, virtual cyclic subgroup are relevant for the foreign judge and the bound con isomorphism and conjectures. A gross model, this tells us uh, we can to compute the K theory using these models and the topological. Also, we can compute the topological K theory using these models. Uh, also, the classifying space for families is also used for to compute the higher topological complexity or the space. Uh, for example, you can see Michael Farber and Jung Oprea. Uh, for this reason, it's important to find concrete and simple model for the classifying space. So the, we define if you had a group and a family F, uh, we define the geometry dimension of G with respect to this family as the minimal N so that there is a model X for the classifying space of dimension N. So examples, uh, we had the geometry dimension is zero if and only if the group belong to the family. Uh, if, if we consider to the family of the final subgroup, don't want it to show in 1979, uh, the geometry dimension is equal one if and only if G is virtually free. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, another example is you have the mapping class growth of the close oriented and surfer, surface of general JIT. We can show uh, Martinez Perez and Aramayona in 2013. They showed that the geometric dimension with respect to the finite subgroup of the mapping class group is equal to the virtual cohomological dimension of the group. Another example, uh, Lut and Bayerman showed in 2018, is you had a groove, a police, police set groove. The difference with respect to the geometry dimension, uh, with respect to the virtual cyclist group and a virtual cohomological dimension of G is minus one, zero, or one. Uh, Nusinkis, Nusinkin uh, showed in 2018, uh, uh, they showed the dimension geometric with respect to the this family uh, or this group is less than n plus k. So the main uh, question in my PhD is the following: If you had, if you had gamma, the fundamental group or the close connected or an oriented three manifold M, uh, what is uh, this uh, geometry dimension with, with respect uh, to this family? Uh, before to give, it, to give the answer, I need to, the following theorem, the prime decomposition. If you had a M be a close oriented three manifold, then M is homeomorphic to a connected zone or prime manifold, P1 and Pn. Um, this is a composition is unit to ordain and homeomorphism. Yeah. For, for, uh, this is usual because for example, the fundamental group of N is called to the product, free product, for example. Uh, so, uh, Joe Ken, Lafon, and Sanchez Altania, uh, they showed in 2018, uh, they had the full land square uh, for the family F1. Yes, they, they compute the geometry dimension with respect to this family uh, of say the fundamental group of a connected close oriented three manifold M. Yeah. So the remaining question is what happened with, with another uh, families? Uh, so the answer is the following. If you had M be a connected close and oriented three manifold and the node by P1, uh, P2 and PR be the pieces in the, the prime decomposition of M and the node by gamma to the fundamental groove and gamma sub I or the fundamental groove of the pieces, uh, we, can, uh, we can prove the geometry dimension with respect to this family uh, is basically the maximum or the geometric dimension of the pieces. Uh, this, theorem, this theorem tells us that if we can to compute this geometric dimension with respect to these uh, families, we can uh, to know this. So the next step, is compute this uh, uh, geometric dimension of the pieces. So after, before to give um, the answer, I need the, the following theorem, uh, the GSG decomposition. Um, if you had a close prime oriented three manifold, M, we came to find a torus in this manifold, um, and we can to cool along of these torus and the pieces are or either a hyperbolic or safer fiber manifolds. Yeah. So the theorem is the following. 
uh, let m be a connected clause and oriented prime, prime three manifold uh, with a node in in one and two and in R with the pieces on the minimal J is J decomposition. And again, with a node gamma with the fundamental groove and gamma sub I to the fundamental groove of the pieces, uh, we can prove the, the geometry dimension with respect to the same family is basically the maximum or the geometry dimension or, or these pieces that appear in this JSG decomposition. So the next task is to compute, compute this, uh, this geometry dimension with respect to this family. So uh, we can do that. Um, the table is here. Uh, if you have, for example, the piece is hyperbolic with anti voluntary voluntary, we can show the geometric dimension with this with respect to this family F2. Uh, the geometric dimension is equal to three. And also for another uh, families. Uh, if you have the pieces, uh, the pieces are, for example, uh, safe fiber model in in E3 with anti voluntary and base or before B model in A2, we can show um, the geometric dimension is equal five. And they, uh, here we had all the cases. So the theorem, the theorem eight and the theorem B with this table, we compute uh, the geometric dimension with respect to this family completely. So I think that's all. Thank you for attention. <laughs> okay, let's thank Porfirio. Does anybody have any questions? No, one more try. Questions? Yes. Uh, may I ask, can you uh, go back to the slide where the known results are shown? The, uh, you mentioned some Saramayona result, Nuchinkin result. Earlier slide, yeah. Yeah. This yeah, slide? This, this, yes. So, did these guys, uh, Aramayone and Martinez Perez, did they use this terminology or they uh, they were doing it in a different uh, wording, different terms? Did they uh, use geometric dimension with respect to family? No? Yes, this is uh, it's the same. Uh, um, so, for, for example, uh, the geometric dimension with respect to this family of finite subgroup of gamma sub i, uh, they denote as only geometric dimension uh, over underlying uh, gamma sub i. But yeah, yeah. Okay. it's okay. the same. Yeah. And who, do you remember who are co-authors of Brita Nuchinkis in this last one? You write et al. Who are these guys et al? Uh, the Nutel authors is uh, Victor Moreno and uh, I don't remember the other author. But... Okay, <laughs> fine. Yeah. Thank you. No, thank you for your question. Okay, any other questions? Okay, well, if not, um, let's thank the speaker 